Ajmer Murwara, also known as Ajmer Province and as Ajmer Murwara Kekri, is a former province of British India in the historical Ajmer region. The territory was ceded to the British by Dalit Rao Sindhya by a treaty on June 25, 1818. It was under the Bengal Presidency until 1836 when it became part of the Northwestern Provinces Commission at L. 1842. Finally on April 1, 1871 it became a separate province as Ajmer Murwara Kekri. It became a part of independent India on August 15, 1947 when the British left India. The province consisted of the districts of Ajmer and Murwar, which were physically separated from the rest of British India forming an enclave amidst the many princely states of Rajputana. Unlike these states, which were ruled by local nobles who acknowledged British suzerainty, Ajmer Murwara was administered directly by the British. In 1842 the two districts were under a single commissioner, then they were separated in 1856 and were administered by the East India Company. Finally, after 1858, by a chief commissioner who was subordinate to the Governor-General of India's agent for the Rajputana Agency. The area of the province was 2,710 square miles. The plateau, on whose centre stands the town of Ajmer, may be considered as the highest point in the plains of North India, from the circle of hills which hem it in. The country slopes away on every side, towards river valleys on the east, south, west and towards the Thar Desert region on the north. The Ara Valley Range is the distinguishing feature of the district. The range of hills which runs between Ajmer and Nasirabad marks the watershed of the continent of India. The rain which falls on the southeastern slopes drains into the Chambal, and so into the Bay of Bengal, that which falls on the northwest side into the Luni River, which discharges itself into the run of Kutch. The province is on the border of what may be called the arid zone, it is the debatable land between the northeastern and southwestern monsoons, and beyond the influence of either. The southwest monsoon sweeps up the Narmada Valley from Bombay and crossing the tableland at Nimach gives copious supplies to Malwa, Jalawar and Kota and the countries which lie in the course of the Chambal River. The clouds which strike Kadiavar and Kutch are deprived of a great deal of their moisture by the hills in those countries. And the greater part of the remainder is deposited on Mount Abu and the higher slopes of the Ara Valley Range, leaving but little for Murwara, where the hills are lower, and still less for Ajmer. It is only when the monsoon is in considerable force that Murwara gets a plentiful supply from it. The northeastern monsoon sweeps up the valley of the Ganges from the Bay of Bengal and waters the northern part of Rajasthan, but hardly penetrates farther west than the longitude of Ajmer. The rainfall of the district depends on the varying strength of these two monsoons. The agriculturist of Ajmer Murwara could never rely upon two good harvests in succession. Part of the Ajmer region, the territory of the future province was ceded to the British by Dalit Rao Sindhya of Gwalior State as part of a treaty dated June 25, 1818. Then in May 1823 the Murwara part was ceded to Britain by Udaipur State. Thereafter Ajmer Murwara was administered directly by the British East India Company. After the Indian Mutiny of 1857, in 1858 the powers of the company were transferred to the British Crown and the Governor-General of India. His administration of Ajmer Murwara was controlled by a chief commissioner who was subordinate to the British agent for the Rajputana Agency. Superintendents for Ajmer Superintendents for Murwara Agents of the Governors General for the Rajputana Agency Chief Commissioners from the date of partition and independence in 1947 until 1950. Ajmer Murwara remained a province of the new Dominion of India. In 1950 it became Ajmer State, which on November 1, 1956, was merged into the state of Rajasthan. The Rajasthan Land Reforms and Resumption of Jaggers Act, 1952 was the landmark in the legal history of land reforms in Rajasthan which was followed by Rajasthan Tenancy Act, 1955 that became applicable to the whole of Rajasthan. The overriding effect of this act provided relief to the existing tenants and the rights accrued to tenants accordingly. Now the Jats are major landholders in the region. Thanks for watching.